Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you to those of you joining us from around the world for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Lauren Ashburn. A battle for the soul of the Democratic Party. Is there room for pro-lifers? In Chicago's Democratic primary, pro-life Catholic Democrat Dan Lipinski is on the ropes in the fight of his political life against abortion supporter Marie Newman. The race is one of several where liberals are targeting longtime Democratic incumbents. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvi is in Chicago. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Lauren. Congressman Dan Lipinski is one of three pro-life Democrats remain in the U.S. House. Since 1983, a Lipinski has held this district. Dan took over for his dad when his dad retired in 2005. Now, the two major newspapers here in Chicago, as well as Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi, are endorsing Lipinski, but NARAL, Pro-Choice America, is backing his competitor, Marie Newman. Dan voted to defund Planned Parenthood. Pro-abortion group NARAL and its partners have spent more than a million dollars to defeat incumbent representative Dan Lipinski. He's the co-chair of Congress's Pro-Life Caucus. Small business owner Marie Newman supports late-term abortion. Now, for you, health care includes abortion rights and contraception. Again, I trust women and families to make their own health care decision. And Lipinski has supported the Little Sisters of the Poor in their fight against the Obama administration's contraceptive mandate. I don't think that the Little Sisters of the Poor should be forced to provide abortion-inducing drugs things that go against it's their beliefs. It's called birth control, Mr. Lipinski, and when you provide birth control, it's general health care. Lipinski sponsors the Conscience Protection Act, which would protect nurses and doctors who refuse to assist with abortions. It's passed the House several times. Health care system, the part of the healing process for, for people, they should not have to participate in these actions that they find violate their conscience. Illinois' third congressional district includes Midway Airport and predominantly working-class neighborhoods where the median income is $66,000 and three-quarters have not graduated college. This weekend, pro-life college students and the Susan B. Anthony list knocked on their doors. I'm good. I'm Sandy. Nice to meet you. Some students come from Catholic schools, Franciscan University in Ohio, and a place Lipinski taught, Notre Dame. It's these voters Lipinski is counting on. In 2016, Democratic primary voters in this district picked Bernie Sanders. Now that's motivating Newman, who hopes they'll pick her as a proud liberal. The unions are split on this race. The AFL-CIO is backing Lipinski. The SEIU is backing Newman. Lauren? Jason, are we witnessing the death of pro-life Democrats in American politics? Well, if you look at the polls, there was a recent poll from the Knights of Columbus and Marist, and, and they found that 25% of Democrats consider themselves pro-life, 25%, and 72% of Democrats say they're pro-choice. But when you look at the actual specifics of policy, for example, banning abortions, most abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy, that number is 56% of Democrats, 56% support that ban. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvi reporting from Chicago, where you will be witnessing the results. Thank you, Jason.